morning, Rabotai, Bokr Tov, Shavua Tov. The Chachamim, they established that when we stand in prayer, when we st- stand to say Tefillat Amidah, we're supposed to resemble Malachim saying Shira in front of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. With regards to the Malachim, the Navi writes, V'raglehem regel Shara, which means that they have only one foot. So when we stand in Amidah, our two feet are supposed to resemble one feet, hence one foot. That's why when we stand in Amidah, we stand with our feet together. Lechat preferably, a person's uh, when we put the feet together, both the heels and the toes in the front are supposed to be together. Sometimes you see people that only put their heels in the back together, but their toes in the front, they're separate. Even though there is, they do have what to rely on, but according to, you know, preferably, a person should have both together, both heels and toes together. Now, there are certain situations where a person cannot stand for tefillat amida. For instance, uh, let's assume for a moment, let's say a person's ill, a person's not feeling well. And, or a person, let's say, is, well, let's say it happens a lot with diabetics. They get up, they stand up, and they're very dizzy. They can't, they can't stand up and pray. And then, so therefore, they sit down, and they pray tefillat amida. Later, let's say, while it's still zman tefillah, the person feels better. The question is, what's the halacha now? He prayed sitting down. It's called tefillat amida. Is a person yotzeh or not? According to many, many poskim, a person was not yotzeh what he prayed sitting down, and once the onus, once the situation that he had passes, he has to stand up and pray again. Nevertheless, Maran Zechon in Yalkut Yosef Chedek Alif, which he wrote himself, he writes over there that there are several poskim who write that even when a person sits and prays, a person still yotzeh bedi avad, and therefore over there, what should he do once the onus passes? He says he should stand up and pray again, but he should make a t'nai nedava, which means, he says, before he starts the amida again, he should say, if I'm chayav, if I wasn't yotzeh the first time and I'm chayav to pray again, this should be a tefillat chova, an obligatory prayer. And if I'm not chayav, if I'm not, if I was already yotzeh, this should be a nedava, this should be a voluntary prayer. Bezat Hashem, in the coming days we'll speak about what's the halacha if a person's on a train or on a plane and he has to pray sitting down, what the halacha would be over there happens a lot. Yom tov.